What's up folks, I'm SDG, and today we're back with part two of the five like series. But this time we're going in the opposite direction. These are five things I don't like about Infinite Warfare. And these ones are much more straight to the point because I think they're very poignant. I'm like, they are like super on the nose. But let's get started. This episode is also brought to you by G2A.com. Stop there for cheap games and awesome savings. And while you're, like, you know, watching this video, take a second and give us a like. Give us a share. Give us a subscribe. Show that you want us to keep doing this. But let's get right into it. And the first thing I want to start out with, there's no co-op campaign. I think this sucks for so many different reasons. We had plans to do a series similar to our heroic mythic playthrough of Halo 4, but now we have no such luck. Since Reyes and Salter always seems to be together, this would have been like the perfect opportunity for like some dual play with them. And like, and there's other characters that are always around, like Ethan and Reigns in the first mission. Uh, this is probably something that could have been like actually been done because there's split screen co op for multiplayer and zombies. So I'm just not feeling this personally. The second thing is something that kind of breaks my spirit in ways you don't understand shotguns suck. They feel woefully underpowered and have really, really bad range. Shotguns live and die by their one-shot kill range, and these weapons fall super flat this time. The pellets spread are super wide, and that might account for the piss-poor performance. Now, the thing that I find interesting is all of the shotguns sucked. I used the automatic one. Or, well, it's, it's semi-automatic, but still, it's not the point. And I used the pump-action one just to get, like, a really good semblance of what was going on. And they both felt like they played absolutely the same. There was no... Normally, you use a pump shotgun when you want that better one-shot kill potential. But, and, like, that's the way it's balanced. Like, that's, that's what has the one-shot kill potential, like, in the high range. And the semi-automatic ones just shoot really fast, so you can get a bunch of bullets down range. You have a better, like, multi-kill potential but they do less damage, and these both just felt bad. Now, variants might actually fix this, but I don't have any right now, so I can't, like, test that. For third, we have on the list the fact that I think salvage, uh, like, accrual is super slow, in my opinion. I have put dozens of hours into this game, and I only have 425 salvage total. I've, like, used that salvage to buy the first uh, MV4 custom variant, but it's just like, I feel like for the time I'm putting in, I'm not getting the salvage. And I've been opening cases too, and I just, I've only gotten salvage, like real salvage on the cases twice. So it's just like, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, and the crazy thing is this being so slow, it almost makes it feel like they need to put in microtransactions so that you have a better chance to get like, you know, really good guns and variants. Slotted in at number four is, it almost feels like it's pay to win even though it's not implemented yet. Is that bad? Now, speaking of microtransactions from back in number three, we know that soon you'll be able to purchase keys and supply drops, which will be the main source of salvage and parts to get high-end weapons. This allows all of those with disposable income to get equipped much faster than those of us that don't. And to finish off strong, one of the things that I find super frustrating about this game is the slow grind. There's a whole lot to do in this game. You got four separate teams, six rigs, dozens of camos, weapon variants. However, with the exception of the, the weapon variants, leveling up all of those particular things I just mentioned feels like it takes a long time. The only thing that I feel like paces normally is when you get upgrades for your weapons like that's the only thing i feel like pace normally because that's not hooked to your level or you know, like your overall level that's hooked to your level with the weapon and like it's, it's really disconcerting before double xp weekend i played really well but i just didn't earn levels quickly and i was doing the missions too and that's the crazy part about it it's just like i shot up after double xp because i feel like it's more than double xp but that's just me and i feel like they're getting us on the back end with the like multiplayer bonus we get at the end of like completing matches that's why we're like jumping up this is like quadruple xp and i think they've realized that the pacing is bad so they're trying to fix it that's what it is with double xp from the first weekend so that we can feel like we're properly leveled 
And with that, it looks like we've covered a lot of things really quickly. But like I said, these things are very on the nose, very on the point. As a whole, I am absolutely loving this game, even though it has some glaring inadequacies. But I'm sure those things will be fixed over time. This is Epic STG signing out. Don't forget to stop by our sponsor, Loot Crate, and check the new anime pack that they have coming out this month. You will absolutely love it. STG signing out. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all remember to keep it gangster now. We got new play we got new playthroughs and stuff coming out. So guys, just stay tuned. So much stuff ready for y'all. Take it easy.